Karl von Terzaghi was an Austrian engineer, known as the father of geotechnical engineering, who proposed the relationship for effective stress in 1923. Archimedes was one of the world's leading scientists, as well as mathematician, physicist, engineer, inventor, and astronomer. The concept that we know as effective stress is in agreement with the principle of Archimedes. Archimedes' principle stated simply is that the buoyant force is equal to the weight of water displaced. This essentially means that the volume of the displaced fluid is equal to the volume of the object that is fully immersed within the fluid, and the weight of the displaced portion of the fluid is equal to the magnitude of the buoyant force. This can be equated with the equivalent volume of both the object and the displaced fluid, as well as the specific weights of both the object and the fluid, in this case, water. Karl von Terzaghi was working on the uplift problems in masonry, dams, the shearing resistance of saturated soils, and the consolidation problem of clay. In 1923, he formulated a constitutive relation for the effect of stress, where he related the poor water pressure, U, to P1, the constant additional load of a soil layer, and P, the field-dependent pressure increment. Terzaghi gained this result purely intuitively, not founded on mechanical principles. In a soil where particles are barely touching each other, the pore pressure effect is equivalent to the action of the Archimedes force, while the total vertical stress is caused by the weight of the soil. So, Terzaghi's equation for the effect of vertical stress is a direct consequence of the Archimedes principle. In 1936, Terzaghi formulated the effective stress principle in the following terms. The stresses in any point of a section through a massive soil can be computed from the total principal stresses which act in this point. If the voids of the soil are filled with water under a stress U, the total principal stresses consist of two parts. U is a neutral stress, or pore pressure, and it acts in the water and in the solid in every direction with equal intensity. The balance, sigma 1 prime equals sigma 1 minus U, and so on, represent an excess over the neutral stress U, and it seat exclusively in the solid phase of the soil. The fraction of the total stress is called the effective principal stress. There are some assumptions that come with this concept of effective stress. The soil is homogeneous and isotropic. The soil is fully saturated. The solid particles and water are incompressible. Compression and flow are one-dimensional. And the strains in the soil are relatively small. Other assumptions include Darcy's law being valid for all hydraulic gradients, the coefficient of permeability and the coefficient of volume compressibility remain constant throughout the process. There is a unique relationship, independent of time, between the void ratio and effective stress. Terzaghi's effective stress is not a principle, but a concept. It cannot be measured, only calculated, as an average intergranular stress. According to Terzaghi, all the measurable effects of a change of stress, such as compression, distortion, and a change of shearing resistance, are exclusively due to changes in the effective stresses sigma 1 prime, sigma 2 prime, and sigma 3 prime. So the effective stress governs the deformation and strength of a soil. Hence, every investigation of the stability of a saturated body of a soil requires the knowledge of both the total stress and the pore pressure.